Hey friends, here's a great idea for your physical learners. That's gonna be all your boys and several of your girls. And you make your very own catapult. And it's pretty easy to do. And you're gonna be launching a bean bag. And all they do is they stomp the end of it. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> it's gonna stomp it. Oh, okay. You gotta stand on it and stomp it and launch this into the air and catch it. And like you do that and you can make up games to go with it. If you wanna say, um, you have to catch it and then name the books of uh, the gospels. And if you can do that, then you get a point and so forth and so on. So you can do that. So here, basically here's what we did. It's a one by four piece of wood. Let's set this aside. A one by four piece of wood and cut it and kind of sanded the edges so it wouldn't have sharp edges. And so let me just give you the measurement for that right now. It's two feet long. And so if you wanna make your catapult longer, you can do that, that's not a problem. But uh, ours works really good at two foot. And you want to glue on the, some sandpaper that would hold the bean bag from sliding down. We have a piece of uh, PVC pipe and if you've got different pieces or scraps laying around, the double wall thickness is usually um, a little sturdier if you're gonna be buying it, but PVC pipe is really pretty inexpensive and uh, easy to work with. And we're gonna tape that on. I've got some Gorilla tape here to do that. So let's do that first. So the instructions say that we can go about five inches over and it feels a little bit short, so I'm gonna say five to eight inches. So I'm gonna kind of go with seven on this. And I'm gonna put my piece right here in place and pull out some tape and get it stuck down on here. Now this Gorilla Tape is serious. It's like tape welding or something. It's gonna be there for sure. And the idea that you'll want to do is you wanna wrap it around really good like this. So you kind of have to get it on here and then roll it down to one side and tuck that in with your thumb and then come back over here and tuck it all the way in, keeping it straight with the board. Now, once it's in place like that, it'll, it'll be fine. So just know that you need to get it tucked in there really good and that'll help a lot. All right, now it's time to add to it the little piece of sandpaper that will keep the bean bag from sliding. Easy to use, we use tacky glue and I've shown you this several times but it's easy to squeeze, it's quick drying. It says that right here on it, easy to squeeze, quick drying. And so I'm just gonna squirt a little bit on here and it won't take too much, but it's thick and it really will hold up really well. This little piece of sandpaper, you can get a, a package of sandpaper and it'll be plenty for your whole class to be able to make one if you want every child to make one or have one in the classroom whenever we do this. It just takes a little bit for it to dry, but when they step on that and it goes and flies through the air, it's great. Just know that you can adjust this little part at the bottom if you want it to fly higher or farther. And just as you move closer to the end of it, it's harder to push down, but you get more angle when it's going up. So that gives you a couple of options as you're trying to make your catapult for your kiddos to use. This is a great boy thing, so don't miss that.